Hi, I just want to briefly talk about being able to import in a 360 image and use it as a skybox in Unity. So I'm, I took a picture with my um, Samsung 360 camera and I, I imported it into my, um, or I copied it over to my laptop. And so here it is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it over and drag it into my textures folder. And so Unity will import it in and I click on that. And so you look at the properties in the inspector window and you have default texture type or texture type is set as default and texture shape 2D. So what you want to do is you want to select cube and you want to make sure that RGB color texture is checked or else it will turn into a black and white. And so what it will do is it will process that and it will turn it into a cube map that we can use for our uh, skybox. <clears throat> Once it's done with that, we go to materials and we create a new material. So in the material fol folder, I create a skybox material. And with that selected, I go into the inspector window and I select shader. I look for skybox, cube map. And so you'll see that cube map has none right now, none selected. So we go to our textures folder, we drag it over and we drop it onto there. And now we have a material that we can use as a skybox. So if we go back over here to our, our scene and we click in the hierarchy, we click the main camera, what we want to do is we want to add a component. And in the component, we go into rendering, skybox, and you'll see that custom skybox, there's skybox, there's no material selected. So we go back to our materials folder and we select our skybox material and we drag it over into here. And if we actually go ahead and run this, um, at this point, I'm on Oculus Rift and I can look all around. Then I've got this skybox and I have a full 360 image of what I took. So once you have it in there, then you can start placing objects. So in this case, if I were to place an object um, into the, the main scene there, so let's, let's select a plane. And the plane itself, its position is at 0, 0, 0. If I did, say, minus 10, and I just click play, we would actually look, and we could see it right there. It's kind of floating above the 360 image. Um, we can actually, if we're creative, we can actually place um, items that uh, look like they are connected to the scene. So I, in this case, I did minus 50 for Y. And if I look at the image again and I look down, it looks like it's uh, it's closer to what the, the floor is in the 360 image. If I were to expand that, and if I were to make that say six by four, and if I added a rotation in there of say 42, and I know that um, I can add some positioning there too, and I press play. I will actually see the plane looks closer, and it looks like it's almost integrated into the 360 image. We can do one more thing. If we were to take a an, into the um, main scene, if we were to create 3G 3D object, and let's take a cylinder. And let's squish the cylinder to like 0.3, and let's make it uh, bigger. We'll, uh, we'll scale it out five by five. And what we're going to do is I'm going to add this uh, blue material that I've already created. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go minus 50. Um, in this case, I know that I'm going to do, I know that if I add about um, 50 and for X and 50 for Z, it should actually look like it's sitting on the water. So let's take a look at that. So if you look over there, oh, it's not sitting on the water. It's sitting on the ground. Um, let's do minus 50. <clears throat> there it is, sitting on the, looks like it's sitting on the water there. So it's a very easy way for you to take your own images, your own 360 images, and use them as a skybox in, in Unity. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much.